Let me first take the opportunity of welcoming our Honorable Chief Minister. Sir, you made a promise. You've come through on it. Thank you so much. I also take the opportunity to welcome Guruji. Dhanyavad, aap aaye hamare karikram mein. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is truly an honor and a privilege to welcome you all to this next leap for Blue Energy Motors, our launch of India's first electric heavy-duty truck with battery-swapping technology. But today, it's not about a launch of the truck. It's about unveiling a vision, a vision that me and Anshuman thought about four years ago while we were sitting in COVID. And he said, cars have gone electric, two-wheelers have gone electric, buses have gone electric, but nobody is really talking about decarbonizing heavy-duty truck industry. People may not know, but trucking sector, sir, contributes to 44% of transport-related CO2 emissions. If we don't do anything about it, today, we have 4 million trucks on the road. If we take a 7% or 8% growth, we expect in the next 10 years, this number to go to 8 million. Sir, today we are at 450 million tons of CO2, and we barely can live in Bombay. Imagine, sir, if it goes to 900 million tons, we need a solution. We need a solution now. So, sir, when we thought about Blue Energy Motors, our idea was very simple. Because I personally believe the simple ideas are the most powerful. How do we build the cleanest, most efficient, zero-emission truck which cracks the code of diesel parity. And sir, I repeat this word diesel parity because we have started on a journey of green, but if we do not solve the problem of costs being competitive to diesel, mass market transition is not going to happen. Sir, keeping this vision in mind, we launched India's first LNG truck way back in September 2022. Fast forward to 2025, we have sold more than 1,000 trucks, 70 million kilometers, 60,000, uh, uh, 20,000 tons of CO2. All the Fortune 500 companies are now adopting CO2 emissions. And last but not the least, we pioneered the LNG ecosystem. And today, I can proudly say, we are the number one green truck brand in India. Sir, when we talk about electric, I personally believe that the transition of electric is going to be very fast. Everybody here believes that slowly but surely, electric is the future. Sir, I personally believe that the electric transition will be faster. Keeping, keeping in mind the net zero goal, of Prime Minister Modi's vision, net zero target of 2070. Sir, under your leadership, Maharashtra's goal of net zero emissions. We are proud to say that today, we are launching India's first electric heavy duty truck with battery swapping technology. People, when they talk about electricity, sir, they believe that it's coming, it's gonna happen, you are pushing it, government is pushing it. But sir, quietly, early 2025, one shift happened without anybody knowing. Quietly, sir, like a whisper. And the shift was that battery prices corrected by 50%. At that point, sir, the switch happened. Once in a lifetime comes an opportunity that transition a 100-year-old industry into a new technology, sir, and we are here to witness that revolution in the making, and I am privileged to lead the innovation which is going to make the shift happen. But I'll tell you, sir, why. Sir, if you look at it, there are three trends on electric, and that is why I believe the electric future is now. Number one, battery prices. Battery prices has been steadily de declining over the last decade, and as recently, as I said, 50% battery prices have already corrected. Number two, electricity prices. Solar, with the mix of solar, it is already steady. 
and may decline in the future. And so if you look at diesel, diesel historically has had an inflationary trend. So if we are electric to diesel parity today, it's a foregone conclusion that in the next three to five years, this gap is going to get wider. So sir, in my view, the electric is not the future. It has already come upon us. But having said that, sir, there is so much euphoria around electric, uh, electric heavy duty truck adoption. Government is pushing it. Yours truly are pushing it. But sir, there are major constraints. One of the key constraints is range. Sir, trucks are big. Cars, maybe talk about range issues, sir, trucks. But naturally, uh, there is a range issue. Charging time. Trucks need to run all the time, sir. It takes 1.5 to 2 hours for the trucks to charge. Charging infrastructure. Sir, these trucks are huge. The amount of real estate you need to charge the trucks is massive. And last but not the least, sir, the upfront capital cost. Today, sir, diesel versus electric, the capital cost, friends, is three times. Now, as much as you might agree that this is a great future and a great product, in a developing country like India, where capital is always a scarcity, getting operators and customers to spend three times capital cost is not easy. Sir, I'm happy to share at Blue Energy Motors, we have cracked this code. What we are launching today is India's first electric heavy duty truck with battery swapping technology. Sir, in its class, it's the number one truck today for three reasons. Number one, it has the highest payload. Sir, battery takes a lot of weight. We've been able to re-engineer the truck to compensate for the weight. So it's highest payload. Lowest TCO, which is very, very critical for our customers. Highest battery density. Range of 150 to 200 kilometers. But the most importantly, and I repeat, the most importantly, it can swap. Now, so what is this big deal about swap? I showed you the swap station. We just inaugurated Mumbai Pune Electric Corridor. Why is swap, in my view, the game-changing revolution for this country? So for three reasons. One, you can now have a Mumbai swap station and a Pune swap station. Start your journey in the morning, five minutes you swap. Less than a time taking for somebody to have tea. And then you get to the end to Pune, unload your cargo, and before the return journey, you swap in five minutes again. So, sir, by definition now, your range is unlimited. Number two, your charging time is down to zero, if not minutes. And number three, sir, these swap stations, I can put it up in 48 hours, plug and play, 50 square meters, anywhere in the country. So, sir, if you summarize this, we have solved for three issues out of the five I named. Range, charging time, charging infrastructure. So, sir, this is the first piece of the equation that we've solved. But now, sir, the elephant in the room is not this. The elephant in the room is the capital cost. How do we solve for a truck which costs three times of diesel? Sir, no matter how much you talk about it and how much you push, people adoption for this is going to be an issue. So, sir, we are launching India's first, and I repeat, sir, it is India's first energy as a service business model, which is the subscription model, sir, where customers can now simply come for pay. They do not have to pay for charging. They do not have to worry about electricity. They do not have to worry about the battery. It all gets rolled up into a cost per kilometer. So this is what I call the aha moment or the apple moment, where you have taken a complex issue and simplified it into one line, cost per kilometer. Sir, this has the potential of unlocking the issues of the EV industry. We at Blue Energy plan to put 1,200 swap stations, over 228 locations, and do 30,000 EV trucks and be the catalyst of this change. But you can scale this up as much as you want, sir. But sir, this is not just about trucks. This is about reimagining logistics as a future. Sir, imagine 
where we are talking about trucks which are powered by sun, connected by smart grids, operating with EV fleets and swapping. This ecosystem builds a different order of magnitude in the, into the India's future of logistics. So if you want to predict the future, you can't be looking at the rear view mirror. You have to start ground zero up and reimagine what that future looks like. So in summary, sir, people talk about electric is the future. I think electric future is now that with this launch, our EV revolution begins. Thank you very much.